usually I get a phone call and uh, you know a customer wants to he tells me what he has and he, he usually he doesn't really know what he wants a lot. Mo knew what he pretty much wanted he, he had already bought this car and it was exactly like you see it but it was completely stock as far as the running gear goes gearbox engine it was a miler it's over 100,000 miles and you know it was just standard 247 horsepower 964 the, the short answer is we just talk and we, we just have a sometimes a 45 minute or an hour conversation and then it kind of morphs into okay this is what i want to build How did your passion for cars start? When I was a kid, I liked Porsches, but I thought I liked 914s and uh, you know little little boxy things. And my dad said, you know, son, said the real Porsche is the 911. So then I got looking at them and uh, bought the books, read all about them. I, I had a neighbor moving across the street from me where I grew up, and he had a 67 911S, and he drove the hell out of it up and down my street. We had this long hill that you know, I could just hear it all the time running up and down the hill. And so when I was 15, I walked across the street and said, hey, I'd like to work on your car for free. And he said, okay. When I started my own business 20 years ago with Carl, my first, very first employee, we built a 84 turbo look Carrera into a race car. That was, I would consider probably my first custom build. We built the car in which that was one of our first customers when I started my own shop. And this was after 15 years of working for somebody else. But that shop didn't want to do custom stuff. They wanted to do kind of service work and whatnot. And I was kind of the rebel that wanted to do custom stuff. Why Porsche? Styling, engineering, the way they sound, the way they perform, they're not like any other car. There is literally no other car that's like them. From 100 feet, you'd be hard pressed to tell one from another. But you know, from 500 feet, you could easily see a 911. We have our four liter engine that we build, and originally it's 247. This, this one ended up at 405 horsepower. We took his original engine, we take it completely apart, and we refinish all the sheet metal, all the plating, magnesium parts are all redone, and then uh, choose our components. I've developed a combination of parts, some of which I buy outright, like the crankshaft in here is a factory Porsche part from a four liter engine. They've obviously done all the engineering and the design, so we know they're a good quality piece. I have special forged rods made by Carrillo, very strong, very light. And then I have special pistons made by Molly, who's another German company that's the original equipment manu uh, supplier to Porsche for their pistons, but I have my own spec made for these four liters. We have an engine dyno, so we run every engine we build on our own dyno. We break it in and we measure the power and we, we know what's going on with the engine. So. I've tried different components. We also get a lot of other people's engines in here that have been built, and then we are commissioned with making them run better or run right. So we see what works and what doesn't. The induction system I designed and built, we build certain parts here in Oregon, and then I have the throttle bodies made by another company in Europe. We build our own wiring harnesses for the engine management. So we use mil-spec grade hardware. Uh, so there's a lot of little trinkets that we make for the engines and then uh, we put a special flywheel and clutch package in it. As far as the gearbox goes, we basically built an RS version box. They have a little closer gear stack, so we put a good limited slip in to handle the power and uh, change the gear ratios to RS spec. The stuff I make is born out of the need. If it isn't available, I'll make it. If it's made poorly, I'll make a better version. Or if it's just off the scale expensive, I'll decide to make it. Those are my three criteria. I'd never met.
met Mo in person. We've had a lot of conversations. I mean, I've had other builds where we haven't met the customer up front and we start the build and then sooner or later they show up. This is definitely unusual. I've, the car's literally done and I have never met it. We get rewarded the most when the car gets picked up and the guy drives it for the first time and, and uh, he comes back from his road test or, or I give him a road test. Some of the guys want me to drive for them and they want to ride first. Of course, I give them a good ride. And then when they drive it, they have a big old smile on their face. So that's the most rewarding thing. Good job. I think most call him this car Gemini because he already has another factory RS version of this car, the, 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 the rare European only RS model in white that's uber low miles and it's like a you know museum quality car and I think he wants this car so that he can have something to drive and enjoy because those cars are so valuable now that not everybody has a fun time driving their high six figure car.